hi guys welcome to this video tutorial so we in this video we will be making a visual basic application mainly to deal with progress bars so as usual go to projects create in new application progress okay. in this we will be as usual resizing it renaming the form progress bar and now going on to the toolbox you will be seeing a progress bar and get the tool from the toolbox okay now resizing it now on to the right click on go to the properties you can see the value that is the current value and you can see the maximum value and the minimum value always the max um, value of the progress bar must be between this 100 and not that you can change it. it must be between the maximum and minimum value specified in the properties okay we will come to know it later as we do the program so i'll be creating a button and renaming it Okay, I'll be naming it to start the progress bar. Okay. In this tutorial, we will be do mainly doing a progress bar which increments its value after a specific interval of time. Okay. As we don't have any process to do in the background. So for that, for performing a set of instructions to be executed within a certain interval of time, okay, we will be using, we have something called timer. Okay, you will be getting it added okay you can see nothing won't be displayed on the form if when you add a timer timer is timer just helps you to execute a certain set of code or helps you to invoke a set of functions within a specific interval of time repeatedly every inter uh, within an interval of time okay you can click on the timer right you can go to the properties here you can see the interval interval is specified in microseconds so i will be keeping it thousand means every one second by default the timer will be disa disabled that is the enable value is equal to this false so i will be keeping it false okay now i will be double clicking on the button and here i will give timer rule one dot enable equal to true that will be enabling the timer but we haven't um, given anything for the timer to execute after every one second so double click on the timer you will be getting a function timer one underscore tick okay here we can give the value if progress for one dot value less than or equal to 80 okay i'll show you why okay now the meaning of this statement is set the progress bar value equal to the current value of the progress bar plus 20 for example for the first time when it executes your current value is 0 0 plus 20 equal to 0 uh, equal to 20 okay the progress bar value will be 20 and uh, for the next time it will be 20 plus 20 40 and make sure it's less than or equal to 80 before executing this statement because if it is 80 80 plus 20 it's 100 the max it must be below the maximum value otherwise you will be getting an error and I'm giving another statement. Whenever the progress bar value becomes 100, you don't need to disable the timer. Just because you have given the condition over here, whenever the value is greater than 80, you don't need to increment the progress bar. Okay, this statement won't be working if the progress bar value is already above 80.
still will be disabling the timer for one purpose timer one dot enable equals false okay now we will be displaying a message box happens is whenever the progress bar value becomes 100 that means this set of instructions are executed every one second from the moment the timer is enabled from the moment the timer is enabled that is if you click hit the run button the progress bar is not moving because these set of instructions aren't inst executed because the timer is not enabled when I click the start progress bar button this statement works the progress uh, you can see the progress bar means okay process completed and here we go that is when i click this button this timer gets enabled and this set of statements start working and it will be executed every one second and whenever the value reaches 100 timer is disabled and a message box is displayed that message box is process completed this process completed so hope you guys like and enjoyed the video and um, don't forget to like and subscribe thank you